safely has astonished pilots and aviation experts. Normally a plane would be expected to break up on impact with water. Rory Cashlin jones has been recreating the flight in a computer simulator. Here's his pilot's eye view. 1526 at LaGuardia Airport and seen through a simulator program, here's Captain Chesley Sullenberger's view from the cockpit as his Airbus A320 takes off. But just a minute later, the pilot is reporting that birds have hit both engines. Passengers see flames coming from the left wing. A pilot who experienced a similar loss of engine power at a much higher altitude says he had more time to react. This happened very quickly after takeoff and he had very little time to think. When my engine stopped, yeah, OK, we had to think quickly, but we still were a long way off the ground. We were at 37,000 feet. Apparently realising time was running out, the pilot banked sharply and headed down the Hudson River. This website shows how radar tracked Flight 1549, seen here in red, over New York. It comes perilously close to colliding with another aircraft. With the densely populated island of Manhattan on his left, Captain Sullenberger narrowly misses the George Washington Bridge as he prepares to land on the river. It's a, one of the most difficult things to do. You can't practice it. You can't practice it in a simulator, really. And uh, if you think about it, he's got to land that aeroplane with the undercarriage up. So immediately, the perspective with which he views the sea or the ground as normal, has got, he's got to lower that. And he's got to hit the water or glance the water so, so precisely that he got it absolutely and utterly spot on. Pilots around the world are uniting in praise for Captain Sullenberger and his first officer. They had to react to a disaster that struck just a minute after takeoff and then perform a manoeuvre landing on water, which many had regarded as nigh on impossible.